South Australian sheep breeder Andrew Michael is taking stud breeding beyond the cutting edge and into new territory with a program that is supercharging the speed of genetic gain in his flock. Juvenile in vitro embryo transfer, or GIVIT for short, has already delivered stud lambs years in advance of those from his conventionally joined flock. Put simply, the program identifies superior breeding stock at a very early age, uses advanced embryo technology to collect eggs from new lambs, with joining then occurring in a test tube before the lambs are carried to term in surrogate mothers. At between 4 and 13 weeks, lambs, ewe lambs have their eggs available to be harvested, a percentage of them. So this doesn't have any long-term effect on the ewe lambs at all. That When we'd done it previously, all of those ewe lambs we'd collected eggs out of went on for a normal mating life. So what you're doing is just giving them a natural hormone, and then just removing uh, those eggs for the, from that ovulation. So, and it seems to be anywhere from about 40 to 100 eggs from each ewe lamb is available in, at one operation in that period. So we're just harvesting those unfertilised eggs and then mating them in a test tube. The genetics were selected using a combination of pedigree, ASBVs and DNA testing with the first lambs all born within a week of each other. The GIVIT process then began again almost immediately. At the end of that first week we had all the lambs, so we did the ram lambs and the ewe lambs. We actually took blood cards from those and sent them off for, genetic, for genomics testing. And at the same time we sent in the parentage for those lambs into sheep genetics. So they actually had a base to work with. They knew who those were by. And then at eight weeks once those blood cards come back, that's when we had the information from those ewe lambs to actually start um, identifying which ones we were going to do the GIVIT program. The results have been staggering. While traditional breeding methods mean that most ewes are not joined until 18 months of age, the GIVIT method delivered a first drop from ewe lamb embryos within six months. Oh, it's been unbelievable. Uh, from my point of view, like I can't find a negative with doing genomics. Um, the thing is we've, we're doing direct comparisons because we still do all the raw data measurements so we're doing all of the measurements we previously did for ASBVs but also then running it side by side with our genomics tests. So we're actually every time we get a test we actually compare it to where the ASBV sit and then when the raw data has gone in I've been absolutely staggered um, with the accuracy of what we've achieved from blood cards compared with the raw data. Mr Michael runs the Leacombe White Suffolk and Pol Merino studs, with 3,500 stud and commercial ewes spread across three properties, all with different environments. Through the use of ASBVs and DNA testing, Mr Michael has been able to make earlier and more accurate selection decisions, targeting traits that match his environment and deliver for the bottom line. In the merinos we've, we're focusing on the pole gene because that's important because we're a pole merino stud. We want to, we have so many wasted sheep as we put it with scurs and so we want to eliminate that plus the damage to carcasses and things like that. But also it's, it's the really important traits that have been identified by the industry for us for fat and muscle wipe. And also totally, in my opinion, totally transforming the merino to being an animal that can do it in every environment but actually be uh, more productive in every trait for fleece weight, um, for wool production and uh, and number of lambs weaned and you know looking at intermuscular fat and shear force and those I think are now traits that we also look for because I think if we can um, then get our quality right, that uh, eating quality right, it, it's just icing on the cake. The GIVIT program was implemented with assistance from the Sheep CRC, SARDI and Sheep Genetics, with design support provided by Greg Popplewell of Total Genetic Resource Management and Stephen Lee of the University of Adelaide. And if it wasn't for the Sheep CRC and the funding that's been done by government and everyone else, um, we would never have got to where we are now. And I know with our breeding program, even though it's only a small program, um, that we do and it's a family run operation, the difference it's made to us is just unbelievable. And without the research, um, we would still be back where we were 20 years ago.